Hello everyone, welcome to another YouTube video, a market review, um, where I'll be giving my thoughts on Bitcoin, uh, especially Bitcoin. I'll also talk about an altcoin setup. Um, we took a trade on an altcoin last week after yeah, being being patient with, with altcoin trades. Started uh, dipping my toes in again um, on the future account. Um, so let's quickly talk about that as well. But before we get into the video, quickly want to say thanks to Prime XBT. Um, you can make your account using the link below and get up to seven thousand dollars in bonuses, as well as join my Discord group, my Discord group where I post all of my analysis and trades live, um, and just post more content in a more organized way. Um, in general. All right, so if you want to check it out, it's completely free. All you have to do is make an account on Prime XBT using the link in the description and make a deposit of at least $100. All right, so with that being said, let's dive straight into the charts. Um, so for Bitcoin, um, yeah, where do we start? Basically, um, ever since we've we've started trading in this range, right? With this as a range high and this as a range low. Why those levels? Because those are monthly levels, okay? The March candle high, March high and March low. Those were the levels um, that we needed to watch um, as a draw liquidity, basically. Um, and ever since we've been trading into that range, what did we say? Um, that there was a possibility that we would um, take liquidity below the lows, okay? And that was fine as soon as we either closed back above, um, back above the level, right? And closed as an SFP, or if we closed below, that's fine as soon as we would in the next few candles break back inside the range with strength, okay? And as you can see, that is exactly what happened. So we initially closed the daily below, but then in the next, um, is it the next? Yeah, the next couple candles, as you can see, instant strength and a close back inside the range, okay? And ever since that happened, uh, for me, it has been um, pretty clear that we just took out the lows um, to grab liquidity below the lows, as we've seen uh, multiple times before just to after see price go for the opposite side uh, of the range or go for uh, liquidity on the other side, right? Um, honestly, we haven't taken much liquidity to the upside yet. And in my opinion, we're still early, which is a reason also why I'm making this video because I'm seeing um, a very decent trade opportunity here, okay? Um, as I've just said, we've taken the lows. So where's the next draw on liquidity gonna be? Well, towards the highs. Maybe not immediately towards this high and this high, but in my opinion, we will be trading at least towards these highs right here in the next couple of daily um, candles. And I wouldn't even be surprised if we trade above 67K uh, this week, all right? Um, so as you... Uh, guys probably know I have been long for quite a while and I added to my long as well. Um, I'll show you the position all the way down here. So this has been my long the entire time. The same thesis, right? Look to buy the dip and sell um, above 80k. I will be taking partial profits around these highs because in my opinion, that's the last stand for bears. So let's, let me quickly remove it again. The last stand for bear stand for bears before we head straight to all time highs, okay? So I could see a scenario where we, for example, start pumping, take these highs and then break below and see a lot more chop in this range, maybe even go all the way back into, um, into the lows, into range lows before ultimately making a real break above this area and then heading for real all time highs, right? It would be classic breaking um, above 67K here. Um, when price is trading here in this area, everyone would be calling for the break to new highs. What does Bitcoin do then? Most of the times when, every, when everyone is calling something, it does exactly the opposite. So then smash back below here, maybe see some downside. That's where I'll be looking to add back to my longs again. Ideal scenario, right? And then hold um, 
for the real break to new highs, okay? So that's basically um, all I'm watching on Bitcoin for here. I've been saying, right, so um, this entire time, and as you can see on the low time frames, it looked very choppy, right? We, we closed back above Monday low here, but then ugly snap back down. But it's important to just keep a view on the overall um, Bitcoin's uh, charts and the, just a general view on the higher time frames and know, um, know where we are trading, right? And the whole idea was to look for, to accumulate longs in this area because we've taken aggressive, um, aggressive, we, we've taken the, the lows out aggressively on this move, right? So if we're correct on this ID, then this should be the move that now needs to hold for us to see a move at least towards these highs, okay? And that's still what I'm, what I'm betting on. I've been bull posting this entire time, okay? My, my long has been in profit, back in a loss, back in a profit, but I ha just haven't touched it. You've got to be very patient here and just trust in your ID, okay? And as always, we can be wrong. Where are we wrong? Like I could still see a snap back down in here into this OTE area and this blue demand, low time frame, as well as this March low level and still trust the ID and still be confident that we would trade higher towards 67K. Um, as you can see, the Monday range, that's the one from last week. We will have a new Monday range to work with. Um, tomorrow, maybe we go back for Monday low, right? Take out Monday low in there, right? And if you plan ahead, right? If you now know that if we take out that Monday low tomorrow or in the coming days, you're just gonna feel more relaxed in your positions because you know it can still do that and your trade can still play out beautifully, okay? Um, where are we wrong on the ID? Well, if we break below this blue area and go for the lows again. I could see us trade a lot lower. So in my opinion, any dip into this blue area should be short-lived. Just like the dip below range lows, it should be a wick and a close back above or a close below, but a break back above these local lows here um, in the next couple candles, okay? So it's only Monday, right? Um, still have a lot of time. Uh, in this week, we'll have a new Monday range tomorrow. So it's just a video to give you a general idea of, of, of why I was bull posting on Twitter as well. It's not because, because for engagement or anything, um, but I am actually long as fuck right now, still in heavily in spots. And I do think that Bitcoin trades back above 67K in the near future. All right. Um, with that being said, so that's the plan for Bitcoin. Um, just one more thing here. LSK, USDT on Bybit, right? I have been uh, long on this one from last week, right? And it was from taking this here and breaking above here. So I was long here with the validation there and was targeting the highs. The whole idea was because this one took out the lows aggressively on this sweep. As you can see, demand, massive reclaim, chop, retest of range mean, a uh, retest of range low, sorry, a break back above range mean with one of the most important things, clean highs all the way up here into range high, right? So the lows swept aggressively, high time frame highs unswept, low time frame strength because uh, we broke above range mean. So what was me, my invalidation, right? I wanted to see a retest here. Um, if we would sweep these lows into this area, I wanted to see this hold. Um, so we got the ugly close below here. So I closed for a loss before the full stop out. Also posted all of that live, by the way. Um, but as soon as I saw, saw the strength here, right? The reclaim again, retest and strength with still all of these clean highs above here, I just relonged, right? We're currently in profit, but nothing has happened yet. Um, I'm, as I said, my first target are these highs up here, second target range high, and then into the highs above there. If we now break back below 
uh, range mean again, then I think we will be trading back down, lower into this gray area where I'll be looking for fresh longs or just sit out until we reclaim range mean again, okay? But just to give you an idea on this, I've been focusing on this chart and I think, um, yeah, just the way it's trading, right? It's compressing um, down here. I wouldn't be surprised if this um, does very good. Would line up with Bitcoin breaking uh, towards the upside and going to the 67K area as well. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Um, there will be or more videos this week or live streams. I think we will do at least one live stream. Not sure when. Um, I like doing them when I have a lot of info to give you guys. Um, so I'll see. Maybe I do one tomorrow, maybe on Thursday. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment with what you think. Um, be patient, okay? That's the most most important thing. Be patient. We have all the time in the world and it will be much more exciting when Bitcoin starts trending higher again. Also for meme coins, just take it easy, okay? Don't lose your money in a stupid range. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.